Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Hey, I'm out cruising around in my 2020 Jeep Gladiator today, and I was thinking, you know, after having this for a few weeks, is the Jeep Gladiator a legitimate player or a, a legitimate player? And now what I mean by that is, is it a real contender in the midsize truck market? You know, it's a brand new truck, it's a brand new entry, and uh, it's becoming quite competitive in the, uh, the mid-sized truck market. You know, you have the leader, which is the Toyota Tacoma, which by the way, I happen to have a 2020 Tacoma as well, so it's easy for me to compare the two. And then you have the Colorado, uh, the Nissan Frontier, uh, the Honda Ridgeline, if you call that a mid-sized truck, I'm, I'm not sure, but there are several and probably more to come I've heard that the uh, Dodge Dakota is going to make a, uh, a new entry into the market, as well as various uh, electrics that are supposedly going to be coming as well. So is the Jeep Gladiator a, a legitimate player in the midsize market? Now, my short answer is absolutely. You know, I can't help but compare it to the Toyota Tacoma because that's what I have. And the Tacoma has been the, the market leader as far as mid-sized trucks go for years now, right? They're kind of the benchmark. Now, the Tacoma's been having some trouble lately, or at least Toyota has, with reliability. I think that the, the reason Toyota has been able to hold the market in the, uh, with the Tacoma rather, is because of its reputation for reliability, quality and reliability. And they've been taking a hit like that lately. You know, they had their rusting frame problems, which seems to be continuing. There have been uh, numerous recalls lately. So I'm not sure if Toyota's gonna be able to continue banking on, on that reputation because it seems to be eroding a little bit. And that brings me back to the Jeep Gladiator. You know, in comparing the Gladiator to the Tacoma, it's, it's almost better, if not in certain ways. It's more comfortable than the Tacoma is. It has more power than the Tacoma does, at least off the line power, more oomph, if you will. And I particularly like that. So I'm, I'm very sensitive to that because it's a key thing for me anyway. And the, the Jeep Gladiator certainly has that. Towing capacity, hauling capacity, the Jeep Gladiator exceeds the Tacoma in both areas. Now we get to technology, you know? Looking at what the, the Gladiator has inside, I would say that uh, it's surpassing the Tacoma there as well. Now, Toyota recently did a, a refresh with the Tacoma, the 2020s, which again, I have. They added power adjustable seats, which was severely lacking in the Tacoma, particularly because of the the height inside the cabin, you know, your head was like real close to the ceiling. Mine is not. I probably have, I bet I have eight inches, you know, between my head and the ceiling in here. So Toyota did do us a favor with the Tacoma by adding those adjustable seats. You're now able to get to a position that's comfortable, you know, and fit inside better because you can lower the seat if you happen to be taller. Um, looks wise, and you know, I've always said that the Toyota Tacoma is uh, is the best looking truck on the road. And I would say that's still true, but the Jeep Gladiator is, uh, is pushing that envelope a little bit. Uh, now, it's definitely unique. I think with the Gladiator, people either love it or they hate it. There's really no in between. Me, I happen to love it. I think it looks almost, and we're talking infinitesimal, is that, a, is that a word? Difference between it and the Tacoma. I'd still give the edge to the Tacoma, a slight edge, but it's getting close. And you know, when you mod out the, the Gladiator, when you lift it, put bigger wheels and tires on it, man, it is, uh, I'd say it's about equal. I think if you have a modded Tacoma and a modded Jeep Gladiator sitting beside each other, man, it's a tough call as to which one really looks better, in my opinion. Fuel economy wise, Eh, I'm getting maybe a hair better in the Gladiator than I did the Tacoma. Not enough to, you know, really call it. If anything, I guess I would have to say they're pretty much equal as far as that goes. Ride comfort. Uh, 
I'm, man, I, I think I mentioned this, that the Gladiator is definitely more comfortable as far as ride goes. Now, that's, uh, that's looking at it stock to stock. I, of course, have my Tacoma lifted now and bigger wheels and tires and stuff, so the ride quality has indeed suffered a little bit. But I would say the Gladiator was was more comfortable than the stock Tacoma was without anything else on it. So I guess in closing, uh, yeah, I think uh, I think the Gladiator is definitely a legitimate player in the mid-sized truck market as comparing it to the Tacoma. And probably the only thing that separates the two now is quality and reliability. Can the Jeep Gladiator hold up? You know, Chrysler Fiat has not gotten uh, high marks for quality and reliability. We'll see. We'll see if there's been any kind of improvement. Um, I haven't heard of any recalls lately, at least not on the model that I drive. I know Jeep uh, or Fiat Chrysler just initiated a, a recall or a, a safety notice with a stop sell if you're driving a manual Jeep Gladiator. So time will tell. Anyway, I just wanted to get on here, kind of talk about that a little bit. Uh, again, I think that the Jeep Gladiator is definitely a legitimate player or plan in the market. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. I'd be curious to know. Also, don't forget to check out my other channel, all about the 2020 Toyota Tacoma. It is Rob Motive. And don't forget to click the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.